is your ideal life? I want you to think about that. We're going to walk through an exercise, okay? I want you to write down a number. The perfect year, the perfect year that you could possibly have, what would that number look like? Now, I want you to divide that by what the client population that you serve looks like. So let's just be, let's just keep it 1,000, $5 million. How would that look? But would that look like a good year? <laughs> it would probably be a phenomenal year for some of you, right? $5 million for one year's work. Now, what if you only had to serve five clients? Now we're talking heaven, huh? <laughs> what if you only had to serve five clients at $1 million a piece? Think. Open that. Open that. Open this. Open it, consider it, think about it. What would it take? Who would you have to be? What kind of value would you have to give? What solutions would you have to have? What kind of service would you have to provide to charge five individuals $1 million a piece? Does that sound like an ideal life to you? Sounds like a pretty good one to me. I want you to think, where would you find these clients? Where do they hang out? What do they do? What solutions do they need? What solutions do they consider to be worth $1 million each? What does that look like? What does that package entail? What would you have to do every quarter, every month, every week, every day? And then create it. And then create it, create the value, create the image first, and then create the value based on the image. Again, we're talking about creating your ideal life and reverse engineering that package so you can walk into that reality and have the ideal life. How much money do you need? And how many clients do you want? Because you can have $5 million a year, but if you got 5 million clients to service at $1 a pop, whoo, that's going to be a headache. <laughs> that's going to be a headache because truth be told, the lower the cost, the more the expectation. The higher the cost, the less the expectation. So I've had clients who came in at $50 a month. They expect the most. They always expect the most. This was my prior experience, which is why I raised my prices to what they were and what they are now, so I don't have many needy clients. See, my clients are paying the, 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 the number that makes them do the work. See, it, it, it stings a little bit when you become a client of Sean Rye East because Sean Rye East is going to raise the number. He's going to raise the bar on you and he's going to make you perform to a higher degree. That's why my clients get results. So what results are you getting? What results are you getting from your clients and should you take another look at the number, the price that you charge? And should you add a zero to the back of it?